welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. And I know you guys are like, what? This ain't a hair tutorial? No, sis. It ain't. It's a makeup tutorial. Since I've already done the wet look on my hair, I decided to go ahead and do a makeup look to go with it to have the whole finished package. Why not, baby girl? First thing you do have to start off with when doing makeup is your skincare routine. And my skin is cleansed and I've already used the toner. And I went in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. And now I'm about to prime my face. Clearly, I've already done my brows as well. This is what I used on my brows. I honestly don't even know the name of this, but I am in the shade Ebony, but I will have it in the description bar. It just has like a little spoolie, and I literally just went, doo -doo 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 -doo, and I was done. So now I need to go in with a primer. I'm going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I know you guys have heard of this, because everybody and their mama is talking about it. And it, it really is, like, good, like, this is a good primer. So, I like to apply this everywhere because it has a sticky feeling. Oh my god, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever. I'm like, what? How do I talk? What do I say? <laughs> I am going to go in with some extra glow. I want it to be nice and glowy. So, I am going to go in with the North Face Skin Glass. You do have to shake this up, but y'all, when I tell y'all, this is liquid gold. Like, it's literally liquid gold. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So you just screw it up like this. It has a dropper. Look, liquid gold, y'all. And I'm just going to add some, basically wherever I would highlight. But not too much because this is an oil and you don't want to be an oily mess. So even though it dries down super like matte, you just don't want to go ham, okay? So I just like to pat that in to the skin. And you can use a lot of this on top of one another and it just gives the best look. So moving on, I'm going to go ahead and go in with foundation. Now I have not tried this, but this is the NARS Sheer Glow and I am in the shade Macau. So I did go ahead and pick this up. I think I'm going to use this, but I don't think it's as heavy of coverage as I like. So I also think I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. So I'm going to get some of this. I don't know why it didn't come with a pump. I ain't know it didn't come with a pump. I ain't nobody tell me it didn't come with a pump. I'm mad at y'all. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't know. Maybe the coverage ain't that bad. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is enough. <laughs> this is enough. It's definitely not like a full coverage foundation, but I don't, that ain't what I need. That ain't what I need. It's definitely giving me some coverage. Okay, so we're good with that. I think foundation is good. What y'all think? Next is concealer. We're going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I am in the shade Deep. And that's what we're using. That's what we're using, because it is what is right here in front of me. Do, 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 do. I'm going to take this foundation brush. And just blend this out. Now, normally I would let my concealer sit a little bit. I ain't got time today. That is my only reason for not. I just don't have the time today. I like to blend it out with a foundation brush and then go back in with my other foundation brush to blend out my edges. I like to just pat this in because I feel like when I use my beauty blender, honey, take all my shit away. Make sure you put some right here and you little, you know, wherever you like to put your highlight, put your highlight. And now I'm just going to go in with the Beauty Blender just to take away a any of the excess product that I have on my face. I just like to go ahead and just like take my Beauty Blender and tap everything away. I like to do the outer perimeters first and then kind of go in, go over my lids. I feel like I'm looking nice, fresh, glowy. We need to set. I have the Too Faced powders. I have I have it in the shade Translucent Medium and also in Translucent Deep. So I'm going to be using this for under my eyes and this for the rest of my face. Don't worry about the shine that's gone. We're going to bring the shine back. I am going to go ahead and contour. I'm going to be contouring with the Sephora Make No Mistake 
concealer and I've been loving this and I am in the shade Allspice. This is my favorite one. I have a one darker than this one, but it's just too much. So I just like to put a little bit up there. And then I take this Bare Minerals brush and this is their Precision Face Brush. And I just love how it just blends out. Like, watch. It's just like, all you have to do is stamp, stamp, stamp. And it just like automatically contours for you. Then I like to take it down the sides of my nose. Just stamp, stamp, stamp. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Then I like to go in with a little bronzer. I like to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Mahogany. This is what it looks like. And I just like to take this Morphe M527 brush. Tap, shake it off. Take it on the forehead. Tap, dust it off. Give yourself like a little nice bronze glow. Make sure you take it under here. Get that jawbone nice and structured. See how that make a difference? Like it just creates that dimension. Now that we have the contour done, pretty much all that is done, I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the brush. Some of this bronzing. So I'm just gonna take some of the bronzing powder that I have on this brush, pinch it. We'll go down the sides of my nose and on the end. So now I'm gonna be using this, y'all, honestly, I'm gonna have to find the link to this and put it below, but this is liquid gold as well. It's not like the skin glass. The skin glass is more of like an oil. It definitely has like more moisturizing properties in it as opposed to this is literally meant for just shine. So honestly, I'm not even gonna be that bold. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. Just tap. And it's just gonna give you like this luminosity. That we all want. Love it. And I'm gonna put some right here, right there. You wanna just make sure you blend all that out. Alright, starting to look like a wet poodle. Let's do it. Chin. Why not? Yeah, a little forehand, something, something. Everywhere that you plan on putting your highlight, that's where you put this. It's kind of like your highlight base, just like you have your contour as your bronzer base. This is your highlight base, honey. So then I'm gonna go in with the North Face Skin Glass. She also has a powder. Y'all, like, this is the type of powder that, like, you put a little bit on and you can build it up and you're not gonna make a mess, you know? See, so, look. Actually, I mean a lot. Like, you put a lot on and you just won't mess it up, you know? Because that's that'd be my problem with highlighters. I'm just like, every time I try to take a little bit, I look a hot-ass mess. But with this one, it's so nicely milled that you can just slay your life with as much of this as you need. <laughs> and it just looks like it's coming from within. So now I'm just going to take my beauty blender. I like to do that after I finish my powder. My powder highlight. This is what I might not know how to do, but I'm about to attempt. I'm just going to put one shade on my eyelids. And we're gonna try to make them glossy. I know y'all might be like, bitch, don't do it. You gotta fuck up your face. You might be right, okay? But I'm gonna attempt. I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. And if you guys don't know what it looks like, it looks like this. And clearly, a bitch like it. And I love red ochre. I'm about to go in with Real Gar. Real Gar, however. The orange shade. And just like. Dust, 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 bitches. Dust, dust, dust. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. This is a nice neutral look. So the next step is where you make your lids look glossy. I'm using this random ass lip gloss I got. It's a color pop lip gloss, okay? I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I seen a girl do it on the video. I seen her do it. She did the glossy lid and it looked cute. This is what it looks like on my hand. Then I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and I'm gonna get some off and try to apply it so that my lids look glossy. Ooh, it's working. Just that easy. Girl, I thought I would have to go buy some product. Just dab on them hoes. Don't, don't be trying to be extra and trying to rub. You gonna rub that other color off. 
You need that to be there for the dimension. That's what that girl said. I'm going to put her stuff below where I got this glossy lid from so y'all don't think I came up with this because I did not. All right, so now I'm going in with the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. I've been hearing so many good things about this mascara and I was always like, okay, I ain't going to try it. That's just expensive. But you know what? That Sephora sale, that VIB sale said, bitch, you do it. Like, it was just looking at me. And I, was just, I was like, you know what? I want my lashes to be nice. I don't really like to wear false lashes anyway, so I might as well invest in great mascara. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add this. And, y'all, I've worn this mascara twice, and I really felt like I had false lashes on. Like, this is so nice. I love adding... A good mascara to my bottom lashes, y'all. I'm, like, obsessed with it. Uh huh Huh. This mascara just set it off, didn't it? This mascara set it off, didn't it, friend? So, I'm about to use the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette for blush. And I'm going to use Morocco. Because I'm just going with a nice, bronzy, orange, glowy look, you know? I don't want no colors. No colors. Keep a neutral. Oh, this brush is the It's My Ray Ray brush. It's cute. It's so cute. It feels so good, like fluffy and shit. If this is your first video you're watching of mine, hi, my name is Kim, and I do natural hair tutorials. I used to do makeup, but nobody was watching my videos. So I stopped doing makeup, and I started to do natural hair tutorials. Now I'm doing makeup again. Set and spray. I'm going to be adding my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. For a little extra glow, I am going to be adding the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I've had this for a long time. I just want to put it on my body. I'm just going to take this brush and just add it to that bone right there so it can be highlighted. I learned this trick from Natural Nisi because we went to Aruba. She always sprays some sunscreen on to get that like glowy effect. So I just bought the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen the SPF of 70. So I'm just going to spray Michelle. I do need to do something with my lips. I don't want to do too much, so I'm just going to go with the same gloss that I used on my lids. On my lip, I'm not going to put any liners or anything. Just going to go in with a little gloss. I am going to go ahead and do my hair, let this dry and everything, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the final look. The final makeup is done, and the final hair is done. How do you guys like it? If you guys would like to see this hair tutorial, make sure you click above so you can check it out. But this makeup look, I think, is super cute. I actually think I would do a glossy lid more often because I really like the glossy lid. Is it just me? I think this whole look, the makeup and the hair, took me about three, yeah, three and a half hours to do everything, which isn't bad. Uh, I think it looks nice. The skin looks really smooth, really nice. I think everything just looks like it's a glow from within. I don't think it looks like I tried too much because I did it. <laughs> but I hope you guys really like this makeup tutorial. If you want to see more makeup tutorials from me, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.